right, Killer Clan, welcome back to Giant Foods. This is long overdue. It's so long overdue because I know you guys love Giant Foods as much as I do. Um, just, just ignore the hundred and plus Kit Kat bars back there. We'll, uh, we'll talk about that later on. But uh, yeah, Giant Foods, Mr. Pool here for the assist. Uh, we're doing a gigantic club sandwich today. Turkey, ham, cheese, bacon, lettuce, tomato. Over and 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 over again. That's what the skewers were for. Because we're going to make a huge, towering club sandwich. Let's put it together. Alright, Mr. Bull, so, uh, can't have a uh, club sandwich without bacon. Uh, you really probably shouldn't eat anything without bacon. Um, so I got uh, three pounds of bacon. I got uh, 16 ounces of cheese. Now, there are, there are multiple different recipes. Some of them have cheese, some of them don't. We did find one that had cheddar. So we're going with cheddar because cheddar makes it better. And then we got turkey. Got two pounds of turkey. We got the black forest ham. And two big loaves of bread here. Uh, and of course, lettuce and tomato, which I really should have the tomato because I'm not a big tomato fan. Tomato squares. I don't know. Comment below if you like tomatoes. Um, comment below what your favorite sandwich is. Um, is it like a club? Is it a Reuben? Is it a, it's a bologna sandwich? Would you guys like to see a great big huge bologna sandwich? I don't know. I mean, like a big I don't know, bologna sandwich tower. I don't know. There's all kinds of free heat on. We're going to go ahead and lay our bacon out. For you guys know how to cook bacon, you can. Uh, you can fry it, you can bake it. bake it, you can grill it, you can all kinds of stuff. It's limitless what you can do. Because bacon is delicious. I'm going to get all this bacon laid out. And, uh, I know what you're going to say in the comments below. Killer, your bacon's not done. I already know it. I'm going to, we haven't even begun to cook it, which you know me and bacon. I really, I like it. I like it soft. You might as well just throw it on the sandwich as it is. Throw it on the sandwich <laughs> as it is and eat it raw, like one of those uh, raw, one of those raw bodybuilder kind of diet things. Like uh, what's the, what's the most popular thing right now? Liver King or whatever that is. He would be like, oh, this is good right here. I'll just pick it up and stir it in. Bacon cooking. Look at this. No, that's done as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> it's not done. It's pretty much done. Uh, as you can see, here's our uh, building apparatus. This is uh, just a cutting board with some dial rods because now we can make actually make them stand up the whole way. Now uh, we've got our black forest ham. We got our turkey breast. I'm gonna get this stuff actually out of the package, get it on the plate. So like when we go to construct this thing, we just keep right on build. You know what I mean? Pretty much the only thing else we gotta do is uh, toast the bread up a little bit. I also got a, uh, there's a bag of chips in that bag over there to go along with it because you can't have a sandwich without chips, right? Okay, so uh, we went with the uh, Nature's Own because we thought it would build better on this um, versus like Great Value Bread, which I don't know, we just didn't want it to like get smushed. So uh, we're going to start popping some of this in the toaster bag here. I got my four, my four slaughter back here. You need like a 20 slaughter? <laughs> you need like a 20 slaughter. We're going to just, uh, Start toasting this up. All right, Mr. Pool. So we got some tomato here, and you know how you eat tomatoes, right? You just cut it up and throw it in a garbage can. <laughs> I don't really like tomato, to be honest, um, but it is a uh, part of a club sandwich. Part of a club sandwich, so we we have to use it. We we have to. It's just part of it. Unfortunately, I don't like it, but. Just start slicing it up here and we'll layer it on. We got, we got some lettuce here, we got two heads. It, you know, all our ingredients down. I think we got we have a system, right? At least we think we do. We, uh, we think we have a system. We're not really 100% sure, but uh, we're going to see what we come up with. Of course, we're going to uh, we're going to show you one. And obviously, we're not going to continue to show you the same thing over and over and over again, right? So, a 
least I don't think. And what we thought was... What we figured is we would go... So you got meat. You got the bread. You got meat, you got meat, you got cheese, you got bacon, you got lettuce. Then we're gonna go third of it. Then we're gonna go a sandwich. Then we're gonna put a piece of bread. So there's a piece of bread. And then we're gonna do this over again. Like I said, we're gonna show you how to construct one and then obviously you don't need to see the same construction over and over and over again, but uh, so this this way we can assemble this thing off a camera. Because it's gonna be epic. Epically huge. Huge. Epically huge. So then uh, on this top layer, ouch. This top layer, we get some more bacon. Top layer, gonna get a little shot of mayonnaise, and that's gonna get another piece of bread. So there is one portion. Focus. One club sandwich. One club sandwich amongst Norm many. And then what we'll do is we're just we're gonna build as much much as we have material for. It. All right. So uh, like I said, wash, rinse, and repeat. And this is what you end up with, a uh, two and a half foot tall monster. Uh, of course, you can't have a uh, club sandwich without some chips to go around it. So, there you go. So there it is, Mr. Pool. The world's biggest club sandwich. It's a pretty big club sandwich. Yeah, it's a delicious looking club sandwich, minus the tomato. <laughs> minus the tomato. Killer Clan, so as you saw in the previous clips there, uh, we went ahead and put together this monster club sandwich. It's layered. It is, like, huge. Uh, and you got to put it around some chips. This thing is a beast. Uh, I hope it takes me longer to eat it than it did to assemble it, because I'm going to enjoy this thing. This thing was, I don't know, probably took me a good 30 minutes to put this thing together, at least. Just to stack it, at least. So, blood, sweat, and tears. And then, uh, grub. All right, so uh, we're going to go ahead and get into this thing. It looks delicious. Uh, you can't really go wrong with bacon other than the fact that I had to ruin this thing with tomato. But without further ado, the largest club sandwich challenge. In three, two, one. Hope you can see the timer back here. I can't get it to work. There it goes. Three, two, one, and we're rolling. Uh, I don't know how this is going to work. I'm going to... Uh, Maybe take a stack off, maybe? Try, I don't know. Pull this off. <laughs> <laughs> Pull another section off. Oh! Get it down to something manageable. I don't know, that might be manageable. It's still, it's so big. I won't even stand. Look at that cross section though, look at that. You ready for this? Mmm. Mmm. Oh, good. Bacon. Bacon status. Comment below, bacon lumber. I just realized this section I pulled off didn't have any lettuce in it. I gotta try to keep it healthy. Healthy vegetables. Healthy vegetables.
Thing of bees. I always tell when you get a good sandwich when you have it all over the place. Look at that tomato in there ruining it. Got the uh, low keto form here. <laughs> Just about lost it. Slow motion. It's just too big. These kettle cooked chips are actually pretty good. Interesting killer caddy fact. I don't really like potato chips. I'm just glad to be back to doing what I do best, uh, mass quantities and giant foods because that spicy chip thing is probably not going to happen for a long time. Mr. Poole was relishing in that movie. Emphasis on relish. Relish? Mm -hmm. Relish. You know, food pun. It's finally standing up. The thing is, like, I need that section I just pulled off there. There we go. I feel like I need some more mayonnaise. <laughs> no. Probably should be trying to keep the calories down, but shouldn't be keeping the calories down. But I do that's like I said, I do that's some health, healthy uh, tomatoes on the back of this thing right here, and got some chips on. Retain water is, isn't the challenge for you. It's pretty sodium heavy.
There's no such thing as bad bacon, but except for that one time I burnt the ever loving crap out of it. And I still ate it. The smoke rolling out of that grill. <laughs> Yeah, I smoked that thing that day. Everybody uh, wants to see Anderson's cameo, so there you go. We got two other dogs over here, but you can't see them. They're a little short. I'm like G Bean over here. Ugh. All right, so uh, we're about 14 minutes into this extravaganza. Probably, probably still half of this thing left. These chips are cutting my face. Oh. Man, why don't I go with a big bag? That would have been awful. They're in the blender. That thing's These are the crunchiest chips I've ever eaten. Three big tins of popcorn. Ugh. That was a horrible idea. <clears throat> I'll let you know a secret. I abandoned that video. It was one of the worst ideas I ever had. I think I might have got like a third of the way through and I'm like, it's not happening. My mouth was like bleeding. I was dying. First time a thousand circus peanuts? Hmm? First time a thousand circus peanuts? <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. That's It's starting to remind me of Moody's. <laughs> huh? It's not yeah, it's not bleeding. I was curious, like, uncooked.
You mean you're a baby? You get cooked all the moisture out of it, then you'd be like pound a pound. Yeah, right. <laughs> cook the like bacon. Chips? <laughs> cook the bacon the way Mr. Pool likes it. It'd be like eating chips over and over again. <laughs> No, I, I like my bacon like in between crispy and soft. Not too, not too. Not too. <clears throat> That's why I like that pre-cooked stuff. Mm. The store. Mm -hmm. If you want some really bad bacon, there's some of that uh, morning star in there. That stuff is awful. Nothing against like. Vegetarians or vegan or anything, but that stuff is off. It's not vegan. Mm -hmm. It's not. It's, it's vegetarian, vegetarian, but it's all. <laughs> it's all. You caught me up another water, or Mr. Pool. Sure. Man, we got some soda. Soda. <clears throat> yeah. You want some soda? They've died out in the truck. <laughs> Mm. Mm -hmm. wow. Oh man, we were into the home stretch now, I can feel it. I eat this last section like a sandwich. Oh, I splashed myself. Right, here we go. Last piece of this monster. Woo! That was beastly. There's a cool hit me with the dice over to help get the calorie jump. This last sandwich is like a pound. It is, it's freaking, it's huge. I mean, the first piece of bread is soggy. <clears throat> really soggy. See some of the celery after nine songs. Thirty-six. <sighs> All right, kill the clans. There you have it. Uh, the world's tallest club sandwich. Whew. This thing was a beast. Three pounds of bacon, four pounds of deli meat, a pound of cheese, a loaf of bread, lettuce, tomato, mayonnaise, and a bag of chips. Ugh. My mouth is on fire from all the salt and the cuts from the chips. 
But until next time, I just don't, I don't think it's wise to make one that's like this tall. Just make a regular one. You know, three slices of bread with some meat, some bacon. Put some extra bacon on it. Leave the tomato out. Mayonnaise, light mayonnaise, help keep the calories down. That's my recommendation. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at the Killer Kennedy. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this giant foods. It's uh, it's kind of fun to get back to this. Uh, life was pretty busy, and just haven't had any time to record one lately. But uh, we got some new ones coming. So until next time, take it easy.